down. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Go, Good to have you with us tonight. Of course, we are inside Toyota Center in Houston, Texas, USA. And every time I walk through these walls, I can't help but think about Gilbert Melendez and Diego oh. Sanchez going toe-to-toe -to -toe. back at UFC 166. Remember, Rogan, oh, my God. It was the craziest fight. You could not believe what you were watching. These two guys said, this is the night that we make history. We're going to stand on a quarter in the middle of the octagon and let them fly, and that they did. Houston, the Toyota Center, has been home to some of the greatest fights in UFC history. While really using his reach advantage, there was that punch, DC. Cable of inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night at that land. Right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Can't take many of those. You better check. Now connects with a right. And he's looking for that left hand. Just missed. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. There, pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Chor. Oh, he leads with the right hand there. A lot of these strikes are set up by good footwork, yes? They are set up by good footwork, and he's not having to throw the jab every time because that right hand is just so fast. Strike. Straight right is there. Oh, caught him plus with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent can react. Oh, huge kick to the body. That can't feel good. I was a little bit tall. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Big right hand. Oh, straight right! Good right here! A swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Big leg kick land. Oh, that is a nasty inside leg kick, DC. It is a great technique, but it only takes one time to check it. Right. And your night can be over. Or you can end up like Anderson Silva. Be careful. Got an issue? Here's a tissue. <laughs> Tries the flying knee to no avail. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, he's oh. hip over when he throws that kick. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. <laughs> well, 
you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. So there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Second round underway. Big shot land. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Was able to get that right hand over the top and to the target. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Trying the flying knee there. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. That's a big strike right there. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Oh, single collar tie here. Right hand punch with the clinch. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, he can strike lands there, DC. Landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot. And just like that, the fight is over. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliano has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 17 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ha Chong. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career, and gotta be nice sometimes with all the hard